Richard, give us more quarters. Sorry, guys, all out. <laughs> Richard's unable to provide even fractions of a dollar because he's unemployed. <laughs> Stop it, guys. Richard has a job. Oh, totally. Lots of people with jobs get checks from the unemployment office. I get checks from the unemployment office because I work at the unemployment office. Yeah, right, and I get hemorrhoids because I work at the hemorrhoid emporium. Friends, give me stupid sister brains. Girls! Yes! Dylan, stop making your loose tooth bleed. <gasps> Looks like someone's getting a visit from the tooth fairy. Tooth fairy? Why have I not heard of this tooth fairy? Because she's made up. The kid at school told me she's not real. What? <laughs> Those kids are stupid liars. Golan, when a human child loses a tooth, the tooth fairy who's very real flies in at night and replaces that tooth with a dollar. Oh, this tooth fairy must be powerful and cruel to hoard the teeth of children. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm going into a fantasy. <laughs> Put a baby inside me, Colin. That tooth fairy will be mine. Dylan, unmouth that tooth. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. This Tooth Fairy is in for the night of her life. I just hope she can still fly after I'm done with her, if you know what I'm saying. Obviously. You're gonna rip off her wings, right? If I do it right. Now go to sleep. I don't need you screwing this up for me. So what? You're gonna try to stay up all night? Yeah, I am. Sha, you'll never make it. New Year's Eve, you were fast asleep by 1030. Well, that's because I was rollerblading all day. But today I hardly rollerbladed at all. <sighs> Oh. Oh, curses! I fell asleep. Oh no. Uh. uh wait. <laughs> Bye, Tooth Fairy. Thanks for all the above-average relations. And psych, I wasn't a virgin. <laughs> the Tooth Fairy was here. Dylan. You've been here the whole time while I was getting busy with the Tooth Fairy? So she's really, really, really real? Oh, yeah, she's real. Real hot for my bod. And then Golan and the Tooth Fairy ate so many teeth, and then they puked teeth, and then he touched her boobs, and her boobs had teeth? Golan, stop telling your sex stories to my six-year-old daughter and start writing them down in this journal. Well, the important thing is that we all know the Tooth Fairy is real. Now I'm off to my job at the unemployment office, which is also real, Golan. Now it's just getting sad. Alexis, you must be so jealous of me and the Tooth Fairy. Oh, please, Golan. We all know you never met the Tooth Fairy. I did so. You did that! What do you think, I gave these hickeys to myself? Because that would be a cry for help. Okay, well, Keith and I are going to the spaghetti barn tonight. Maybe you and your girlfriend should meet us there. Do it, Golan. Then kill the non-believers and bring me their leftovers. Uh, fine. Me and the Tooth Fairy will meet you tonight, Alexis. And one of us is gonna look pretty stupid. Missed connection. I am an experienced demigod who is sleeping with a little girl. You... Golan, I sharpened your beheading axe for the big date! Oh, the date is off, thanks to you. Me? What did I do? Yeah, this morning the Tooth Fairy saw your stupid face and thought you were my special needs kid. And chicks do not dig single dads with special needs kids. So she didn't leave her number, and now I can't tell her about the date at the spaghetti bar. Relax. All you have to do is put another tooth under my pillow and she'll come back. Well, if she likes your tiny yellow teeth, she'll love these. Ow! Awesome! But I think the Tooth Fairy only wants kids' teeth. Duh! Oh, I got it. Billy Anderson lost a tooth today at soccer when I punched him in the face. So? So, the Tooth Fairy will be at his house tonight. Then so shall I be there, also. Uh, I don't know why I give squirrels so much crap. This is pretty nice. Oh, hey there, little guy. Mommy bird not around? Don't worry, I'll feed you. Go. <laughs> Well, 
That's how they died. Oh, hey there, mommy bird. Um, some dumbass squirrel just murdered your children. Really sorry for your loss. They seemed like great kids. Anyway, if you excuse me, I'm on a date. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Please don't let that be the tooth fairy. Oh. Well, she's probably very giving. <laughs> mommy? Ah, no need to call for your mother. The tooth fairy and I were just leaving. <laughs> date night! believe we're in love if you scream every time I uncover your mouth, so quit it, cool? Yeah, there we go. Now, when Alexis and Keith get here, act super into me. Touch my arm a lot, laugh at everything I say. Laugh at everything I say! <laughs> <laughs> This is quite the production. You know, you're not so bad looking in the dim light. Oh, what's happening? Do you feel that? What are you doing to me? Nothing. I'm just scared. I'm scared too, honey. I mean, I've never had feelings like this before. Please don't hurt me. Oh, Tooth Fairy. No one ever goes into a relationship planning to hurt the other person. Everything will be fine as long as we're honest with each other. Here is something you should probably know about me. I am a single father and I have a special needs child. It is quite a challenge, but it is all worth it when I see her smile. Which is like all the time, you know how they are. Ow, ow, oh, ow, oh, ow, oh, there's Alexis and Keith. Oh, she's gonna be so jealous we're in love. If she asks, tell her you're usually way more attractive. Alexis! <gasps> hey, sup, Keith? Oh my god, Goldman, you're actually here? Wait, where's your girlfriend, the Tooth Fairy? Right this way. Tooth Fairy? Tooth Fairy! Oh, maybe she turned invisible. I mean, the Tooth Fairy does have special powers, but... Yeah, like the power to not exist. <laughs> <laughs> you mock my love, you son of a bitch! Go on! Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. I'll have to ask you to... My word! The spaghetti barn used to have standards. Hello? Get your hat. We're leaving. <laughs> this is what I get for saying yes to love. Snap out of it. <laughs> you can't let this tooth fairy horror disrespect the god lord terrible of go cruel. You're right, Dylan. I will make this toothmonger pay for what she's done. Yeah, let's kill her and display her rotting, decapitated, worm-infested husk on the front yard. You know, Dylan, sometimes I worry I'm a bad influence. Now to lure the tooth fairy here, you're going to need one of my teeth, Golan. Ready? Ready! On your mark. Yeah! Did it work? Tooth triumph! Ah. <sighs> your doom oh god richard oh, now, what are you doing here why are you giving me money ah. uh-oh wait a minute were the other kids right is the tooth fairy made up uh golan have you been lying to me uh no golan tell me the truth well the thing is golan the truth fine 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 i'll come clean the truth is uh, the, the truth is i snuck in here to steal the money from the Tooth Fairy, who is as real as this bone sticking out of my arm. What? Really? But that's stealing. Why would you do that, Father? Because he's unemployed. Ah! I knew it. Yep, Golan's right. Can't hold down a job. Dylan, I hope you can forgive me. Never! Golan says forgiveness is a sign of weakness. Now give me my Tooth Fairy money. Here you go, honey. Ah! What's going on here? Oh, my God! Your husband was just elected president of Loserville, and the Tooth Fairy and I are more in love than ever. Oh, Alexis, this must just be eating you up inside. I don't care anymore. Lives are being destroyed. Let's just go to the hospital, please. Come on, honey. We can visit the waiter from the spaghetti barn. Oh, Dylan. Sorry your dad is such a poor provider. Ah, eh, he got what he deserved. 
<gasps> hey, look! The Tooth Fairy forgot my tooth! Excellent! That means she shall return, and when she does... We'll be ready.